The FBI, along with local police in New Mexico, arrested the suspect on charges of being a felon in possession of firearms and ammunition. Investigators right now aren't releasing any other criminal background information on 69-year-old Larry Mitchell Hopkins, but we do know he's a member of the so-called border militia group United Constitutional Patriots. We just started the day. We were sitting outside, and, uh, and he didn't get arrested at camp. He just, a friend of ours from the police department came up and just said, hey, can you come talk to us for a little bit? And that was that. And then we'd heard he was arrested. We didn't know what for. We didn't know what about. Videos posted earlier in the week show members of the group ordering migrant families to sit on the ground and wait until Border Patrol agents arrived. On Friday, federal authorities warned private groups like this to stop policing the border, but the groups insist they're doing their part to help a, quote, stressed and overstrained Border Patrol. Hopkins is scheduled to make his initial appearance in federal court on Monday. A spokesperson for that militia group says he's confident Hopkins will get through this. Arthel? Jeff, meanwhile, how is law enforcement responding to this? Yeah, a day before this arrest, authorities told groups like this to stand down and allow trained and certified law enforcement to do their jobs. New Mexico Attorney General Hector Balderas also released a statement regarding the arrest on Saturday, saying, quote, this is a dangerous felon who should not have weapons around children and families. Today's arrest by the FBI indicates clearly that the rule of law should be in the hands of trained law enforcement officials and not armed vigilantes. CBP has previously stated it does not endorse private groups or organizations taking law enforcement matters into their own hands. It also says interference by civilians in law enforcement matters could have public safety and legal consequences for all involved.